Hi, my name is Guy Bertium, and uh, today we'll be starting a new project. I'll be uh, building a 144th scale uh, Sherman uh, M4 tank from World War II. Uh, this kit's from Revel. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up. So this kit is, is actually quite interesting. Uh, when I purchased it, I thought there was one of each vehicle. Uh, the vehicles are the M4 Sherman tank. Uh, you also have the, um, look here, uh, the Greyhound and the, uh, the truck, which is called a CCKW353, whatever that means. So yeah. Uh, I decided that I'll, for this, this build, I'm going to just focus on building a single Sherman tank. The reason why is I, I want to experiment with different styles. Like I said, I wasn't expecting two identical brew sheets. So uh, that, that was a pleasant surprise. I'll be putting one aside and uh, we'll, we'll focus today, like I said, on building the Sherman tank. Let's just look at the instructions real quick here. This is actually the uh, the first instruction set that I got from Revel that's in color, I believe. I've, uh, <laughs> I've always been black and white, so this is nice. It's a simple kit, but it's the first time I do uh, 144 scale uh, military vehicles. I've always done aircraft. I've, got, I've built several, so this will be a nice little change. I like armor, so uh, that should be fun. The first steps are actually for the Sherman tank, so that's perfect. And there is only five steps, <laughs> so that's pretty easy. Not no no big surprise given the uh, given the scale. So let's just move this aside here. I'll try to put this in camera. There we go. So I'll get my clippers out, and let's see what we got. So in step one. We got the uh, the chasis, which is part K. K. K one thirty seven. Okay. So I always use clippers instead of uh, an exacto blade because uh, it'll leave a flush, clean, um, clean uh, cut. Just want to make sure I'm not cutting anything I shouldn't cut. There we go. <laughs> That's small. Uh, three centimeters by one centimeter. Or for my American friends, one and a half inch by what is that five eighths of an inch so yeah that's that's pretty small let's go ahead and do a bit of cleaning not that i think much will be required I'm wondering about that seam. Is that natural or should I get rid of it? I don't see a seam in the drawing. Probably it won't show much. I think I'll just scrape it with the back end just to clean it really quick. I'm thinking it might be intentional because I see a little line here, but I'm, I'm not going to chance it. And, you know, with the tracks, I doubt we'll see much. All right, next part. 138 and 139. There we go.
All right, let's clean these up a little bit. Once again, they won't show too much, the top and the bottom of the track, so. What I actually noticed was uh, Revel sells a 144 landing ship. Uh, I forget the actual name of the kit, but uh, basically it's got the same three vehicles. So all they did, but it, it, the kit's expensive a bit, I mean, uh, and, and a bit big. I, I wouldn't know where to put it. Although it looks nice and I like ships. So let me get rid of these here. So, um, you know, I was, uh, and I haven't seen much armor in, in, in this scale. They're very hard to find from what I've seen. So when I saw this kit, I found it very interesting. But when I saw it the first time at, at a local hobby shop in Quebec City, the uh, I didn't buy it. And later, maybe a month or so later, I came back and I, I, I had thought it over. And I, oh, it'd be nice to have. And it was no longer in stock. And it never came back in stock. And I think I looked about a year. I kept waiting and oh, maybe it'll come back. And nah. So um, time goes by and I'm in another town called uh, Trois Rivières or Three Rivers in English. A little town in Quebec, the province of Quebec in Canada. And um, I'm just waiting. I'm wondering if I should leave that and paint it. Hmm. Nah. So uh, I had a gift card, birthday gift card. And um, I check a look at their models. I didn't have much in mind. I was actually looking for planes. Kind of forgot about this kit. And when I saw it, I was like, oh. I'm getting it. <laughs> I did not hesitate. So, uh, yeah, it didn't cost me anything. A nice little birthday gift. And um, I'm pretty happy. Like I said, it's a two for one because there's there's two of each. So I can do different styles, which I like. And, and this is one of the things, since I've got into 144 scale modeling, I've, I've told myself that because the planes the, or the, the vehicles are, are cheaper, uh, and quicker to build, I can afford the time to, uh, and the space, of course, because you got to put these somewhere afterwards, and, and space is also a luxury. I can also uh, afford to um, to, uh, put, to to try different styles, you know, different camouflage or weathering or, you know, whatever. I can even build a small diorama, which normally I'm not a big fan of, but because of, did I put that on right? <laughs> I'd be doing this quickly. Because of the, 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 the scale, these things only take a few hours at most, uh, versus uh, the, the one, like in, mili in military would be 135th or 148. Uh, they take a lot longer. Even 172 is not too bad, but it, it, it's, it's a lot more time. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm hoping... This will be different. So now I'm just analyzing here. And to be honest, they're almost, let me clean that here. Both sides look almost identical. Let's see if I can get that. But the slope here appears to be a bit longer. There we go. And the longer one appears to be in the back. I'm assuming that's the back. I'm pretty sure that, ah, oh, I could be wrong. Yeah, it's the back. So, yeah. So it just goes in, man, it almost snaps together. It doesn't, I mean, I could take it apart, but. Yeah, it will make glue. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's tiny. <laughs> wow. What a tiny little tank. <laughs> a tankette. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and remove all the parts because I think I'm going to glue everything but the tracks uh, for for the moment and then paint everything olive green. Uh, the tracks obviously need to, I need to paint the black, so that's going to be a bit more time consuming. Uh, and the wheels, um, they show them as olive green, but I'm certain they're the... I'm not 100% certain that uh, the wheel 
around the, the exterior of the wheel is is green i'm wondering if it's not black uh, yeah so i think i think i'll just continue for now i'll start with step two here and well that's the uh, that's a pretty obvious part here part number 136 built armor so fast <laughs> I mean unfortunately the, the the disadvantage of this 144 scale is you know while it's quick to build there's a lot less detail however I, I am pleasantly surprised I mean it's it's surprising what today they can mold which I'm sure going back a few decades this this was not even possible so at least not this detail so just gonna dry fit everything. Woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's definitely gotta be glued. Let me just pop this back in just to see. I'm, I'm just curious how this is gonna look like. I mean, honestly, if you if I was a kid, you wouldn't even need to paint this thing. I mean, uh, you could just glue it together, and in a half an hour, you'd be playing with it. I mean. This is almost, I, I was a fan as a kid of uh, micro machines and this is really close. I mean, it's, it's insane. Okay, step three, the turret. So we'll start with 135, the base. Uh, I believe it's this one here, yes. And then 134, which is here. This one's going to be a trickier because I don't I don't want to damage the cannon. So I'll do that first. Okay. Gee, I said five steps, but I looked too quickly. It's only three steps. <laughs> this is crazy. Because <laughs> the next one is the uh, the what do they call it? The hound. Let me just double check here. The greyhound. Sorry. Wow. This is going to be a record build. My, my last build, which was an F-14 Tomcat in 144 scale, took me a bit over 17 hours. I did do some scratch building on it but uh, and some custom paint. But uh, no, uh, I mean, it, and it, it looks good, I think. But uh, this is not going to take long at all. I mean, this is going to be a, a pleasant build, a very quick and pleasant build. Perfect for a weekend, to be honest. This is why I'm happy again, like I said, it's a two for one. I can do, if I'm happy with one, I'll, I'll try to do some research. I'm actually tempted to uh, build a uh, Firefly edition of the M4 with the longer cannon, but I'll have to do some research to see beyond the cannon, you know, what else changed on the Firefly version. And yeah, so these two go together. Let me try to get this right. Yeah, it's like, it's like, no, it's like that, okay. So these two just go together like so. And this will go on the tank, which you then turn, that locks in place. Oh, wow. We have, let me try to get this on camera right, our little M4 Sherman which I just destroyed. <laughs> All right, let's time to, to glue this, this together. So let's pop this off. Get rid of the tracks here for a second. And um, yeah, let me get the glue. I, I was debating uh, if I should use a, a slower drying glue like this one here, or what I like to use is this Instacure which uh, this version I have five to 10 seconds. And to be honest, I, I've gone beyond that and it still worked. I think the fit is so good. I'm just gonna double check that. I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm tempted to use this. I think five to 10 seconds is plenty. Like I said, always dry fit. 
just to make sure there's no issues and honestly this is nice I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit I think I went a bit too heavy with my exacto earlier but not a big deal you can always put battle damage too let's see here so where is the glue applied there's not a lot of surface Okay, at the tips. So it appears the glue will need to be applied here and here. So let's get this open. It's always a bit more challenging when filming, but uh, is it stuck? Ah, there we go. I'll put a little bit here, a little bit there, close that, and let's stick it together, and in a few seconds that will be ready. Yeah, that's a nice little turret. Okay up a bit here so we're going a bit backwards now now we've taken it all apart let's glue these two together and I'm, I'm wondering if these are exhaust usually I, I, I do a bit of research on the on the subject this one I'm gonna keep it simple I'll probably read yeah it's definitely exhaust I'm, I'm certain of it so maybe I can paint that a different color I'll, I'll check that out so I'll glue these two together. I'm thinking I can put glue on the edges here. Let's see. Yeah, that's a perfect fit. I think I'll put it on the bottom. Ah, actually, before I go any further, I have a little tradition. Let me just find my pen here. I always... Put the uh, my name and the year. Let's see if I can fit that. Unfortunately, my name is Guy, which is only three letters. I'll put my Bertillon is my last name, so I'll put a little B with a dot because there's really not much space. And twenty twenty. Or, so like an artist who signs his uh, canvas, I put my name in there. I guess one day some kid might in inherit this and uh, destroy it. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure they'll be like, hey, who is that? I should put a joke in these one day. Like, uh, we've been trying to reach you about your extended uh, car warranty or something. It would be funny. Although I probably wouldn't be around to see it, but still funny. Alrighty. There we go. Give that a few seconds. So that's two, three, four, six parts. This is officially the smallest piece count model I've ever built. <laughs> wow. So we'll give that, I'm just going to hold it because I want to make sure it's got a good tight uh, glue. Here I have the, uh, the decals. They're actually well done I find. I don't know if we can see them well. It's white so it's going to be a bit hard. Oops. But yeah, you got a bunch of American stars and uh, stars with bars. I see a number 29 and 33 printed. I'm wondering which one it is. Let's look at the manual real quick. Okay, if we scroll over the tank. I could maybe do a tank in... Uh... No, I don't think they had these in Africa. Maybe, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I'm pretty sure not. So yeah, they got... A star with the bar, a dash. Do we have dashes in here? 
I hate it when they do that. There's no dash. Weird. So we got, if I'm looking, I'm looking here at the, I'll put this down, it should be dry anyhow. This has got two stars. Ah, they're bigger stars. So these are number three. So they're covered. The truck requires two stars each, uh, three stars each. And the tank. Yeah, okay, okay. I didn't notice these initially. So it does require four of each. But yeah, that little line. Oh, it's number four. So I choose the, why would they put a line when it's number 29? It says 29. That's weird. Hmm. And if I look here, <laughs> they put 33 in the tank. What the heck? Oh, it's four or five. Okay, I didn't see that. So I got one of each. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Oh, is there an axe? Is that a tool? Some sort of tool in the back, so I can paint that different color too. I like anything I can add this detail. It'll make it look better. Anyhow, so that's that's the decals. I'll put that away for now. I don't want to lose them. Let's put, uh, here we go. Glue together, hopefully it'll It'll stay put. Come on. Helps if I put it on the right side. There we go. Here, I'll even put a little angle. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Yeah, my smallest model ever.